Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today we are going to discuss another interesting question on ETL testing part. So we are going to discuss about today. Okay, one important question. Suppose here, if you see, we have a data. Okay, employee number, e name, and salary. We see one not one two, one not eight. Now, based on this, okay, we wanted to identify even number as well as odd number records. Odd number records from this table. Which means whenever we say even records, okay, odd records, 101, 103, 105, 107. These records should come. Whenever we see one odd records, which is nothing but a, we can go with the we can go with the even numbers, which is going to with, go with the 102, 104, 106, and 108. How we can achieve this? Nothing but a, we are going to fetch the alternate records. Alternate records. So nothing but if you can give the serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Even numbers are nothing but 2. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. Odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay. Let's go ahead and execute this. Let's prepare the data for that. Okay. Here have a, I have created the table employee, employee even odd and other than that. I have prepared the data as well. I'm going to share this in the description box. Please go ahead and take that from description. First, we'll go ahead and we'll execute this. We'll execute this. Can we see here? We have created the table as well as we have inserted. Let's go ahead and query the data. Query the data. Okay. Now, now, can we see here? Four or eight records are there. Now, now you wanted to get the serial number. You wanted to get the serial number. Okay. How we can get it? Okay. How we can get it? First, okay. Let's take the EMP number. Okay. Let's take the EMP number and from table name. From table name. Can you see here the serial number which is coming? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what we want we want even numbers even numbers and odd number records odd number records how we are going to achieve it see if you can if you can divide it by by two okay which is having a reminder is one those we can go ahead and we can keep as a odd numbers if the reminder is zero divided by with the divided by with the two okay then automatically we can consider as a even numbers even numbers how we can do that how we can do that okay let's go ahead and execute it okay let's go ahead and execute it reminder is reminder is here one okay here zero here zero let's go ahead and write it up okay for this how we are going to do that first okay first We'll get the row number. Okay. First, we'll get the serial number by using by using row number. Nothing but it is going to create a sequence number. Row number. Okay. Row number. And as we can call it as a RL. Nothing but as he has called name. We are going to do that. And EMP number, then E name. Okay. Then salary. Okay. From which table? EMP even or table. EMP even or table. Let's create this as an inline view. Inline view. How we are going to do? Select, 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 select start from. Okay. We are going to create some temp view, temp table. Okay. Where, okay, where, okay, Rn equals to, Rn equals to. We are not going to do Rn equals to. We have to divide it by, right? Whenever you do divide it by, okay. Which column you are using? You generated already. You generated already sequence number by using the row number function. Okay. Now, what you are going to do by using this? Okay. You are going to run. You are checking. Okay. You are divided by, by two using mod function, modulus function, modulus function. When you do that, when you do that, if you can go ahead and give the one. Okay. The reminder is one. Automatically, we are going to see odd number records odd number records can you see here can you see here one three five seven one three five seven can we go ahead and execute the even number 
same logic okay same logic okay then we are going ahead and we are going to keep the zero we are going to we are going ahead and keeping the zero whenever you see remainder is zero automatically that is a even records even numbers even records which we are going to get can you see here 101 102 106 108 108 can we whatever the thing which we are expecting one is even number records okay even record even number records okay and odd number records odd number records simply what we are doing what we are doing we are generating a sequence number okay we are generating a serial number using row num function using row num okay using this row num we are generating a rn nothing but we are keeping as alias name okay with this alias name we are going ahead and we are divided by with the two whenever you are divided by with this row number what it does okay it is going to divide it by with that row number if the remainder is one then we are going to say that is a odd number records if the remainder is zero then that we can call as a that we can call as a even number here we are using the two things okay one is row number row num okay another is module module modulus function modulus function takes two parameters okay two parameters one is column name column or value okay another one is with which value wanted to divide it by with which value you wanted to divide it by okay that is the two functions which we are using and other than that we are using the inline view nothing but whatever the output which is coming right we are just creating a temporary table we are creating a temporary table i think you guys understood hope if you have any doubt please comment in the chat i'll comment in the comment box i'll go ahead and I'll explain further thank you guys thank you for liking and subscribing the videos thank you so much and if you are looking for etl testing training please contact on below below number below number nine double eight six eight two seven eight two six thank you guys